Alright guys, so today is the last day of Booktubeathon. I know, I'm like super bummed about it. I had so much fun this week. I got very little sleep this week, but I had so much fun and I've met so many amazing people and everyone's so freaking nice and I'm just really grateful that this exists and that there's people like you guys out there. So, uh, I'm gonna show you where my reading is and I will be doing a wrap up of everything after Booktubeathon. Um, probably tomorrow at some point I will film a wrap up of everything that I read, what I thought, all those good things. But for now I'm just gonna do an update on what I've read. Just a quick update and I mean the day's not over so there could always be more. So, so far I finished Girl Interrupted. The fir I finished Girl Interrupted, didn't like the movie. <laughs> this is like routine. We've heard this. I finished Night. I finished Powers and Elsewhere. I finished The Orchard and there's notes in there because it made me ball like a baby and I need to make a video about it. <clears throat> I'm getting choked up just talking about it. I finished Fix Me by Rue Michaels, which is funny because this is the book that we're going to use for today's challenge. So I'll put that to the side. I finished Altered by Jennifer Rush. This was my book I randomly picked up my t off my TBR for my seventh book absolutely loved it. I am so excited to get to the, like I didn't give it five stars, it was four stars because it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't like amazing but it was still really good. So I ended up picking up the second book off of Book Outlet. They actually have it. So I was like really excited. I only paid a dollar for this so I was pretty pumped that I actually really liked it. So the last book, yes I'm, I did eight books. I did an eighth book last night. I just finished it up this morning. Um, like I said, I don't sleep anymore. Um, I finished Anna and the French Kiss. Um, this was recommended by Bridget at, uh, recommended, I'm saying at, like we're on Twitter. Um, this re was recommended by Bridget at Bridget Books. And um, she, yeah, I I just took a picture of a whole bunch of books and I'm like, pick one. I'm like, I, I don't know what to read next. And um, yeah, so I read this and it was actually, it was nice. It was a really cute story. I really loved it. But it was a nice, like, pick-me-up as opposed to, like, all the stuff I read this week was pretty, like, depressing and sad. So it was a nice little sappy, romantic, contemporary pick-me-up. So I'm okay with reading it. Like I said, it was sappy, but I liked it. But I'm still not done. Today's not over. So I was thinking about starting another book and seeing if I can finish it today. But I know I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, I was thinking maybe a comic. Or something I don't know I'll read something today I'm sure all right so fix me is about a girl and look look I built I built a girl get it build a girl I built a girl no no I don't know if you can even see him in the frame built a girl whatever so it's about a girl who is like a cutter slash she uses needles but this is the closest thing I could find to a needle it's got a razor blade on it so she uses sharp objects to hurt herself to cut and she runs away to a zoo a zoo did you see that one she runs away to a zoo that's carnival but close enough there's animals there so yeah that's about it <laughs> you have to read the book to get the rest of it so yeah that's my little tell the plot of the story with books thing I know it's kind of lame uh, <laughs> I'm so tired. Can't wait to sleep for days. I can't wait. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Goodbye. Hope the rest of your booktubeathon goes great. I hope you finish up reading all those books that you wanted to finish up. I did fantastic. I could not ask for a better booktubeathon. I'm surprised I did this well. And I gotta pick something else up to read now. So, who knows? Who knows what I'm gonna pick? So yeah, peace. I'm out. Goodbye.